If you fancy moving to Ireland, there's plenty of room for you. <laughs> <laughs> so Belfast is a small city. There's 650,000 people that live in Belfast. And roughly a third of the population of Northern Ireland live in Belfast. And we're very proud of our industrial heritage here, so I'm going to tell you some of the things that have happened here in Belfast. We had the very largest shipyard in the entire world in this little city of Belfast, and that was called Harland and Wolf. And as we go through the stoplight here, if you look over to your right-hand side, you'll get a view of the two iconic Harland and Wolf cranes. Well, I hope you will, because it's a bit foggy today. Um, they are the largest cranes in the entire world, and they're a really um, significant part of the Belfast skyline see whether we can actually see them today. You never know in, in, on a day like that. Where are they? I think we saw them. From yeah, the you'll see them. No, they are. Yeah. Yes, yes, we saw them. So that's Samson and Goliath. <laughs> Harland and Wolf was the largest shipyard in the world responsible for, of course, the construction of many massive ocean-going vessels, the most famous of which you might have heard of. The Titanic. The Titanic. And another nickname for Belfast is, of course, Titanic Town. At its peak, it employed 30,000 people. Nowadays, of course, it does no longer construct massive ocean-going vessels. It primarily concentrates on ship repairs, and there are around 500 people that are employed by Harland and Wolf. It has, however, just recently, in the last few months, got a contract to construct some barges, but they will be the first um, uh, ships that the uh, company have constructed for 20 years. So Harland and Wolf still exist. What really built Belfast was the linen industry, Irish linen. You've all heard of Irish linen, haven't you? Yeah. No doubt you get that out for every meal, isn't that right? <laughs> you would never be caught with a meal on your lap watching the TV or anything like that. Quite right. Um, so the Irish linen industry was the industry that really built Belfast. In 1800, there were 20,000 people living in Belfast. By 1900, there were 300,000 that went through a period of exponential growth. There was obviously the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s as well. But that gave Belfast the nickname Linenopolis. So two names for Belfast, two nicknames, Titanic Town and Linenopolis. We also quite randomly had the very largest tobacco factory in the entire world here in Belfast. And that was called Gallagher's. They went out of business in the early 2000s. To give you an idea of the scale of production there, in 1927, Gallagher's was making 40,000 cigarettes per hour. <laughs> So like I said, they went out of business in the early 2000s, but the building still exists and it's now kind of a, used as part of a shopping mall. And of course here in Belfast, we also had the largest rope making facility in the entire world, Belfast Rope Works. This school here, by the way, on your left hand side, this is one of the most famous schools in Northern Ireland. This is Campbell College. It's a private school, which means you have to pay for your child to be educated there. And the writer Samuel Beckett used to work in there as a French master. And way back in the 1920s when he was working there, he had a bit of an altercation with some of his students. And he was brought up to the headmaster's office to kind of explain what had happened. And the headmaster was, you know, very upset and he said, Samuel, don't you know who you're dealing with here? You are dealing with the cream of Ulster. To which Beckett replied, what do you mean? Rich and thick? <laughs> and this has been something that has stayed with Campbell College ever since. If somebody says to you they went to Campbell College, you go, oh, so are you rich and thick? Yeah. But there's actually quite a lot of clever people who there. Um, so those are the industries that we had here in Belfast. Uh, Belfast Roadworks was about two miles down the road from here, and it occupied a site of